and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Soul Tie adventures in Best of One. This is one that I'm excited to try out. We put together here on stream a little while ago. It's pretty basic with the main deck, as you can see, just four ofs all over the place. We're playing our adventure spells from Throne of Eldraine. This is just a Throne of Eldraine block deck, <laughs> really, besides mana base. Um, but yeah, basically, you know, we know how good like the Golgari um, stuff is like in, in the adventure spells, right? Like, you know, so like all these Golgari spells are pretty good. Um, I wanted to go Lucky Clover with some of these adventure cards. You know, like Lucky Clover plus Beanstalk Giant is amazing. We've seen that. Uh, you get, you know, a bunch of lands into play. I'm playing seven basics, which maybe that's not enough. Maybe I need to be going nine basics and trim back and go two, two of each temple. I, you know, I could see that, you know, because Beanstalk Giant with Lucky Clover, you can get a lot of basics out of your deck. Um, so, you know, we'll, we'll kind of see, like, as we play, maybe maybe we need to take trim one of each of the temples and get another two basics in there. Um, but besides that, uh, I wanted to have Lucky Clover with Brazen Borrower, where we can, re you know, start bouncing a lot of permanents for two mana. You know, like with one Lucky Clover, we bounce two permanents for two mana. That's really strong. Maybe we bounce three permanents. Uh, if we have two Lucky Clovers out. But then besides that is I wanted Lucky Clover with Fey of Wishes, you know, so we can cast Granted, you know, where we get to go grab a, a non-creature spell from our sideboard. But what if we have a Lucky Clover in play? It's, you know, now it's a draw two. You know, it's it's go find two spells and put them into your hand and uh, so on. Um, so, yeah, that, that could be pretty sweet. So over in our sideboard, you know, we got some good cheap removal. Over here, I got a Mirror Maid, because Mirror Maid can copy Lucky Clover. So we can get an extra Lucky Clover with Mirror Maid. Um, and then, you know, we have, un you know, we got Oko, obviously. Oko is really good. Ego, if that's a card that we need. Maybe, you know, like, I don't think we're going to be using Jace too much, but it's just a good safety valve just to have in here if we do mill out, you know, like if Foulmire Knight's drawing tons of cards and Edgewall Innkeeper, you know, we, you know, we have have a bunch of these in play that's drawing tons of cards and we already got all of our lands out of our deck kind of thing you know maybe we mill ourselves out but so it's it's a good safety valve you know if we need a ritual of soot we got it in there tamio kind of helps with the jace plan or also can minus and get stuff back and then we got our, our big heavy hitters liliana um and garrick for our six mana walkers casualties of war to, to destroy a whole bunch of stuff the great henge for more uh Card advantage and some life gain. Plain White Celebration for more life gain. Um, you know, bringing stuff back, making creatures, doing all the things it can do. We can, you know, get a if you know if we get two cards, we could get Liliana and Celebration. Play Liliana, and then the next turn play Celebration and proliferate up Liliana uh, to be able to ultimate there. And then a mass manipulation up at the top if the game gets to that point. So I'm pretty excited to try this one out. We'll see how it goes. Um, you know, maybe there's too much aggro uh, for the deck. We'll, we'll kind of see. We'll see what, what happens. So wanted to wanted to play this deck. Um, another way to go with this, you know, basically I wanted to, you know, wanted to try Fey of Wishes with, um, with the Lucky Clovers we were just talking about. Another way to go is going Teamer instead of Sultai, where Teamer gives you Bone Crusher Giant. So you have another two mana removal spell that's really good to copy with Lucky Clover. But it, but Sultai just gives you like you know like there's just a lot of good black adventure cards here. All right, I think this is a keep. We're gonna need more land. I got 25 land in the deck. I only have one black source right now. Hey, Sothian. Yep, everything's good. So yeah, we, we stream in today.
This is just a matchup where we got to be pretty aggressive. And so I'm playing playing the 5-5. Five five. Over going like innkeeper plus knight. We don't need cards right away. We need pressure right away. Winged words. Draw those cards. Hmm. So this is kind of tough. I want I want another black source, but I also want to just go use Beanstalk Giant to go grab a green source so we can play Innkeeper right away. I guess I could go grab a black source and just play Foulmire Knight. Yeah, we probably don't need more cards. I guess I'll just do that. <clears throat> but we need more lands. Lucky Clover would be a really good card to draw where you could like Lucky Clover plus Borrower bounce multiple things. Yeah, if there's a Safara, you know, we can Murderous Rider Safara. Or I can also like bounce it to slow them down. I want... Oh, whoops. I did not tap that very well. Oh, no. I I added black here instead of green. Oh, I messed up that tapping. Well, I guess I have to do this now. <laughs> getting... Getting blue is the worst color to get. Okay, well, I, I really messed up that tapping. I... Yeah, I just didn't tap tad green here. That was a big mistake. Why would they block that 1-1 one, one and not the death-touching 1-1? One, one? Yeah, you can, you can find it right in there, Gambler White. It has four mythics, but that's it. There's no rares. It's all commons and uncommons, but then four mythics with the Brazen Borrowers. I'm not sure why they left the fairies behind. It wasn't to block. It doesn't appear. I'm really concerned they have Rally of Wings. Cool. 
Rally of Wings is a card that I am not beating. All right, with just those attacks, we're going to do this. Perfect. That was exactly the card I needed. Perfect. As long if they have nothing, we win this. If they have something, we probably lose. So we can bounce this blocker and bounce that blocker. And now they don't have a blocker anymore. That thing has to block with other stuff. <sighs> Got there. No, the reason why I didn't... So, okay, some of y'all are asking, why didn't I just kill the Lord? Is because if, if I just killed the Lord, then they had that large life-linking creature. They would have gained life, and then I would not have had lethal on the way back. So, like, I, I needed to kill the life-linking creature to give me the opportunity to have that kind of thing. Yeah, my opponent could have been more aggressive and killed me. For sure. What's up, QQ? Hey, Bloney Pony. Yep, everything's going good. Um, yeah, basically not not so surprised with the Field of the Dead ban. We talked about it some. Um, it's up on the Patreon page as well. Like a my comments on it over there. But yeah, not not too surprised. Um, I'll be obviously Oko is public enemy number one right now. And it's probably going to be everywhere. So, so the new format's going to be about is you got to have a plan for Oko. Yeah, I'm going to play the Citadel, Citadel deck today. 
yeah, we lost four life during that turn. So the reason why the, the Knight of the Ebon Legions didn't get counters is because Knight of the Ebon Legion checks at the end step, the beginning of the end step. That's whenever the trigger happens. I cast the Murderous Rider during during the end step. And so it doesn't go back to the beginning of the end step to check. So I can play the Beanstalk Giant, then it's a 7-7 seven, seven, and it trades with Rotting Regisaur. But honestly, I think it's better for me to play this. Now, uh, Beanstalk Giant can be an 8-8. Eight, eight. So it's bigger than Regisaur. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Oh, I didn't update the our win loss comp anyway after last time, so we're one and one now. I'm not so sure about this deck that we're playing against only aggro, which you know that maybe that's all we're going to face today is just only aggro. I'm not sure if this is really a great cho choice against other against just aggro. Hey, what's up, Paul? No, I, I I love the Beanstalk in the deck. Yes, it's it's slow, but we also we haven't had uh, Clover into Beanstalk, which is really powerful at all. And and yeah, we're just we're just facing hyper aggro decks, which obviously our our three mana ramp spell against hyper aggro is not as good there either. All right, so opponent on that mold of five. I guess their hand was just really, really bad. Yeah, I could see Control making a comeback for sure. Con control was kind of hopeless against Field of the Dead. You know, trying to stop zombies turn after turn and you know then agent of treachery coming on in and, and everything it, you know hydroid crisis with you know tons and tons of mana it was it was kind of hopeless there but yeah i could definitely see control coming back do we get to go first were we lucky I don't think we were lucky. I think I think we were unlucky. Well, any deck can play. Any deck can play um, Sorcerer Spyglass. It's a good answer to Oko. Will I revisit Esper stacks? Probably not, honestly. I think there's better things to be doing in Esper. I'm I don't like that that stack stack very much.
Ow. Ow. All right, get a couple one ones in here. Hey, what's up, six one nine? Thanks for that resub. Yeah, we get double bounce. Just waiting till end step so they don't get to replay anything. I think I think Mono Red got hurt by the bands. Mono Red was a deck that wanted to play against Field of the Dead, not Oko. Ugh, let's go this route. All right, that's good. All right, so now I can double Fae of Wishes next turn. I can grab Legion's End to be able to take out Steamkin. And grab that and Trophy. I'm going to Trophy this Torbrand. Torbrand's probably not as scary... All right, so I'm gonna grab. I'm I'm grabbing Legion's End for Steamkin for this turn, and then I think thinking about getting Plain White Celebration for next turn of just gaining 16 life next turn. It's either that or grab Great Henge. It's one of those two. I think I'm getting the 16 life here. Better enchantment for the current format. I, I assume you mean like the upcoming format after after the banning. Uh, good, good. Not direct damage, good. Um, <laughs> good job, Jurgen. So rule of law or smothering tithe? Uh, probably, uh, they're pretty similar kind of things, but I guess probably, uh, Smothering Tithe. Yeah, sub battle stream is this upcoming Saturday. Yep, the last Saturday of the month. Um, doesn't seem like we need to just gain 16 life immediately. You know, it doesn't seem like we need a shock and then gain 16 life.
I have the Brazen Borrower that's going to be blocking this Spitfire. We're not, we're not dead to Cavalcade, I don't think. Because we had, we had two flying blockers here. So that does five. All right, we're gonna just make sure we stay alive. No risk taken. I don't think they have haste flyers. Well, this is a pretty sweet game. This is a pretty sweet game. Hey, Decadence. Short thoughts on BNR. Uh, not surprised at that, at the decision. And now what it is is, is now it's time to have a standard format built all around Oko for at least a month, and see what happens. You know, like we're going to be looking for the best, the best Oko deck to beat other Oko decks. Control decks that are good against Oko. Aggro that's good against Oko. You know, that's. Everything's going to be evolving around to that card for the next month. Hey, Noxious Girl. All right, well, we got a we got a Beanstalk hand here. You say we don't need Beanstalk Giant in this, this deck. Let's see how it goes here. Like, <clears throat> having a lot of mana with um, Fae of Wishes, especially when you get multiple Fae of Wishes, is something the deck, you know, that's something that you really want. And Beanstalk Giant gives you a lot of mana. I have enough blue sources for mass manipulation now. Cool turn. So that was my turn three, double rampant growth plus double bounce. It's a pretty good turn three. Unfortunately, all we have are lands. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Beanstalk Giant will be a 9 9 next turn. Well, that's a problem. Hmm. Yay. Yeah, I mean, Oko is going to be the what the format's defined. Defined with right now. What are they, so they're hasting the goblin. So 
Ember Cleave. We don't have double red. Okay, so I have I'm gonna have one, two, three, four, five. So I'm just gonna have five mana to use. Five is not really enough mana for things. Grab Great Henge and Trophy. I like that. I'm not gonna attack here. Like questing beast makes my life a little difficult. And Ember Cleave and things like that. I'm not gonna attack. We're gonna sit back. I don't know why they keep changing, okay. They're blocked. They have to do something, so they have like Ember Cleave. It's probably better just to blow up the Ember Cleave. Alright, so looks like we did the right call with Great Henge trophy. Great Henge gave us like the two five Fey of Wishes to be able to block here, start gaining us life too. So that all worked. Millions of cards now. Oh man, Great Henge with Edgewall Innkeeper and Lucky Clover. This is crazy. So I have three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I have eight mana. All right, they just give up. Cool. Well, this deck's pretty sweet. We saw how how good, like that Beanstalk Giant was just incredible that game. Like, look at how much mana we had because of Beanstalk Giant. Like, that's why we have Beanstalk Giant in the deck. For those of y'all that were saying that the Beanstalk Giant doesn't deserve to be in the deck, that game shows you why it's in there. Because it was that was very key there. Thanks, Shadow Glitch. <laughs> I was wrong. Beanstalk is legit. Yeah. It's so much mana with Lucky Clover. And, you know, having the tutor, you need mana. So 
So I was definitely planning on just going with Lovestruck Beast. But now with drawing Lucky Clover, I kind of want to wait so we get an extra 1-1. One, one. Nah, I'll just play it. Gator Frank. Thank you so much for that sub here. Nine months now. Awesome. Love all standard stream. Well, thank you so much there, Gator Frank. <laughs> I'm so jealous. All my cl clovers are at the bottom of the deck. Oh, the not-so-lucky clover. Yeah, luck can go both ways. So when it says lucky, it really means like the unlucky. Wow. Well, that's great. Everything adds green over there. I'm going to just go blue, black. I'm going to go double bounce. Yeah. Yeah, there's the red destroy artifact knight that if if Lucky Clover is popular, you get to do that for sure. Okay. So now we're going to innkeeper. Um, don't tap the blue land. Innkeeper, beast, draw a card. Another clover. I don't know if I want to shock again, honestly. Because, <laughs> like, this Ayara. Ayara's going to do a lot of damage to us. Ayara's a problem. If I do play the Lucky Clover here, though, I do get to, like, ba borrow or bounce and cast borrow or draw a card next turn. All right, last time we're shocking. What deck do you suggest to beat aggro? Probably looking at something with Golos. Ugh. Yara, stop. I want that card. Really, I want Fae of Wishes. Shock lands. I'm in a lot of trouble.
Some more cards down the line. Down to seven. We need to find Fae of Wishes, gain a whole bunch of life. This is not not going good. We need to find a Fae of Wishes. Like we you know, saw no Fae of Wishes, no murderous rider to kill this Ayara. I can't really bounce stuff. Because bouncing stuff just makes lets them trigger Ayara some more. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly why they killed the Beanstalk Giant and not the Borrower. There. I'm not sure. Oh right, my opponent knew I had another borrower in hand. That's true. That's true, because of the because we returned it with the order of midnight. So they knew I had the ability just to bounce. gonna leave on tap I can't quite tell all right I'm gonna get the great henge and I'm gonna get plain white celebration things that gain life and we're going to get an Assassin's Trophy to kill this Ayara.
So we're going down to two. <laughs> yeah, it was basically, yeah, we got to rub a genie's lamp there. We got our three wishes. Play you. Let's play you. Oh no, that was bad. That was bad. I messed up. Uh, I need. I guess I was thinking I was gonna like. Oh wait, no, no, yeah, I can. Never mind. Okay, we're good. I thought I had two more life than than that. Okay, so two, three, four, five, six. Okay, now we're good. We're good. So I still get to shock. Okay, good. All right, we're good. We're good. Everything's gonna work out. Everything's good. I don't think we're going to mill out. I mean, we're at 30 cards, but I, remember, I have a Jace in my sideboard that I get to go grab if we're scared of milling out. Also. Alder2, what's up? Your sub B day. And yes, to celebrate a world without zombies. All right, well, that was a really good turn for my opponent. Having that other Ayara. That was a good turn over there. All right, so sub number seven on the day. Okay, you block there, you block there. Basic lands. We need more mana. Okay. We got more mana. Kill all that stuff. Make some 1-1s. One I don't even know why I'm making the 1-1s one there. That's kind of useless. Alright, I'm going to be bouncing the Fae of Wishes at end, at end step. Two. Hmm. I guess I could just do it right now. We'll get rid of a temple and a overgrown tomb. All right, get three wishes. All right, let's go put a Jace in our hand. A Tamiyo that can get back the Plain White Celebration so we can gain a lot of life. And a Ritual of Soot. I think, right? Hmm. I don't know. We good. We don't really need any of these. Sure, I'll just mass manipulation. We'll take stuff. 
Sure, why not? Get more more clovers. All right, see ya. See ya. We don't really need this clover, but we don't really need any card in our deck, honestly. So I could I could manipulate for one, two, three, four, five. If we shock six, oh yeah, that over there also seven. So we could steal seven things if we want. Yeah, for the first wish, wish for more wishes. <laughs> yeah, we could also just murderous rider board wipe. All right, hooray. They had a little bit of damage there with oven cat combo, but we could just gain another 16 life. You know, I was just gonna like Tamio get back, plain white celebration, gain 16 more life. I can't really compete with that. All right, five and one. This deck's cool. <laughs> Basically the same amount of time as right now. It's been almost an hour, and it was like an hour for the mono blue deck to play 10 games. We played six games with this deck in that amount of time. Clover. I could probably use two more basics instead of two of these temples, though. I don't know. Looks like this could be some like, flash. Probably feel the dead. Well, we want to find Beanstalk Giant so we can get a lot more mana, and then we want Fay of Wishes. <clears throat> I think my play here is just. Innkeeper Knight, draw two. Drop Beanstalk Giant. Yay. Two. 
Alright, not a sweeper. Options either innkeeper, midnight, order of midnight, or just like borrower. Or obviously a like murderous rider. Yeah, if I don't if I don't play the order, then I can you know get get a bunch of these innkeepers back and stuff. If you know if there's a time wipe, but I also wanted to just to draw cards and look for Fay of Wishes. Honestly, that was like the the biggest thing that I really wanted to do here was look for Fay of Wishes. All right, so we have Fey, Legion's End. So I'm gonna gonna have Legion's End. And I could also play Ego. What do we want to Ego? Do we want to Ego Field of the Dead so they get no? There's no more of them. Would we want to Ego Golos. I guess we can kind of see what their hand looks like after Legion's ending this thing. Agent of Treachery and Kenrith. Agent of Treachery is a huge problem. It's not really even a problem. I have Brazen Borrower. They're playing Fae of Wishes also. They got two Fae of Wishes. A second Agent of Treachery.
Hey, glad for you. Good afternoon. Well, that certainly hurts. That's how it was meant to happen. Hmm. Okay. So we're gonna have four, so we're gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six mana. Need more mana. Lag, stop. I'm trying to play stuff. So does does Kenrith kill me right now? I basically I want a removal spell for Kenrith. I get one for haste. One, two. If they go haste, they can do two counters, or otherwise they can do three counters. Okay.
So they're out of Field of the Dead. I'm definitely playing this thing. I have to be worried about... I have to be worried about the giant sweeper. Another realm club giant. Hit me down to one. I was one short. I wanted to play beanstalk giant there also. I was one short of doing that. But yeah, we got to kill Kenrith. Good, not Fae of Wishes. I think the only card that I left to be scared of from their deck really is Fae of Wishes. So I'm gonna Tamio. And Celebration. They scryed that card at the top also, so we're going to mess up their scry, because we're going to unmord ego Fae of Wishes. I follow the tracks of the wise. So they have like two Krasis, so they have one, one Realm Cloak Giant, two Krasis, and an Agent of Treachery. Two Realm Cloak Giants. Always need more mana. Which I guess them... If they age in a treachery and steal my Tamiyo, that could be bad. Field losing the long game is crazy, I know, right? Well, it's that. I mean, we we had to get rid of all their field of the deads. We had to ego three and destroy the other one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So I have celebration plus six mana. All right, putting six counters on the Tamio, so Tamio gets to minus twice. Our first minus, we're gonna unmoored ego the agent of treachery. And then next minus, we'll get our next minus, you know, we'll just get back plain white celebration that we'll get back Tamio. Like, you know, we're just going to cycle through those. There's another Kenrith? Oh, that was Realm Cloak Giant. Okay. Whew. I got scared there. I was like, did I miss another Kenrith? I got scared there. 
Oh, I didn't I didn't grab the one from the library? Oh no, I messed that up with the Agent of Treachery. Oh, I just played that fast. Ugh, I messed that up. Ugh. <laughs> I just took the one from the graveyard. Ugh. All right, messed that up. Dang. Relax. Oh, I messed that up. Darn it. Now I have to be worried about Agent of Treachery again. The storied past holds our future. I mean, honestly, like, Agent of Treachery is, like, the only way that I'm losing this. I feel like. They're not giving me much time. I will take some planeswalkers, please. Uh, field gets banned on Arena on the 24th. So they're down to, what, five cards in their library? They can't really cast a big crisis again. Three. Where am I at? 
24. I require servants. No, not you. Your corpse will volunteer. I will invert the world to watch kings grovel. Surely you must be famished. Putrid, but effective. We just have like infinite cards in hand. Why did I just steal them? I don't know. Might as well make them replay them. We could steal them later. It just it just cuts off another turn. And when draw eight, well, they only got four cards. Yeah, turn two, zero, Oko. Turn 20, Oko. All right, awesome game there. Usually I play seven matches, or seven games to the decks. So that's what I'm going to do with these other three. So yeah, we got seven, seven games here. And that, I feel like that's a really good game to finish this one off at. That was a, that was a pretty sweet ending. Yeah, Oko best played last. We get a pack because that was such a good game. That's awesome. 20 gems. All right, well, I have to say that, that this deck worked really well. Sultai Adventures. This was really cool. Uh, again, one thing that I could see is dropping two of the temples and playing a third forest, third island to get more basics for Beanstalk Giant. Um, and then also in the late game, you don't just only have like shock lands and dual lands that you're playing. You know, it could, could hurt your mana early on though. Um, would this deck be better or worse after Field of the Dead is banned? I'm not sure, honestly. The more, the more aggro people play, probably the worst. I think that like real fast aggro would be like this deck's worst matchup you know, in, you know, especially in best of one, the, the longer the game goes, this deck is just going to be able to grind so incredibly well, as we saw there, those games, um, you know, it, it's like everything my opponent had didn't really matter, you know, like, uh, you know, once I took the field of the deads out of their deck and they didn't just get a horde of zombies, you know, they had agent of treachery to steal my lucky clover and I would just bounce it with brazen borrower, b bounce it back. Cause they just, they didn't have an answer. Um, the the sideboard if you want you know if we i feel like we should probably build this for best of three also the sideboard would need to completely change though you know like we we'd need like more anti-aggro cards but that's that's kind of the tough part like this it's a lot easier to use fave wishes in best of one like this card is much more powerful in best of one where you don't normally have access to a sideboard and it gives you access to a sideboard um after field of the dead is banned though you know, fast aggro decks aren't going to be as well positioned, like with more Oko in the metagame. Lucky Clover doesn't doesn't match up well against Oko. Admittedly, you know, like they they turned Lucky Clover into an elk, that really hurts. Um. But there we go. That this was uh, this was really cool. All right, so if you're watching this video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed this deck as well. And if so, please hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. I'd really appreciate that. And feel free to leave some comments. Um, you know, like what do you, you know, like how do you think this deck would do best of three? Like how do, what would you want to change to the sideboard for best of three? All that kind of stuff. Do you think we should have like the extra island, the extra forest instead of the other two temples? Um, and all of that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, if there's going to be more control, that's that's good for this deck. This deck is definitely good against control with all the card advantage that, like, Edgewall Innkeeper, Lucky Clover provide if they have wishes. Go in and grab stuff, for sure. Also, if you're watching on YouTube, I hope you uh, check out my Patreon page. I'll put a link here in the chat. Also, patreon.com slash ToddStevensMTG. Just started this week, but I'm putting up written content, like, you know, like blog posts, basically over there so if you want to hear my thoughts and stuff over there and then i'll also be putting up cyborg guides as y'all ask for them you know so if you're a member of the patreon feel feel free to ask for cyborg guides of whatever decks over there <clears throat> i did a you know instant reaction right away after the band announcement today and so there's a post about that um if if you missed that one over there all right anyway that's soul tie adventures so uh thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video